Howdy, partner. Are you ready to join me as we head into the wild, wild west? Yeah, we all know I can't do accents. It was an intro. Maybe it got your attention. Hello, I'm going to be playing Rosewater today. It's an indie game that's been developed by Gundeslav Games and published by Ash Games. There will be the obligatory link in the description for you to follow. We're going to be traveling across the frontier with our ragtag posse, dealing with all sorts of walks of life. Let's jump in, and I hope you have a written dutton time. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Western Vespuccia, the town of Rosewater, 1850. Howdy, ma'am. Allow me to extend the warmest of welcomes on behalf of the town of Rosewater and its inhabitants. Folk call me Jem, and who do I have the honour of greeting? Harley Leisure. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Might I assist you with your luggage? Do we have any then? Uh, that is if you've got any. Quite. I don't. Ah, oh, right. Well, what brings you to our fair town, Mrs. Leisure? I'm here for a job. I'm just passing through. That's none of your business. I don't know. Where are we here? Are we going to rob the place? Let's go for the first one. Miss, and I'm here about a job. Oh, we ain't married. That I'm not sticking around, huh? Say, what line of work are you in? Writing for the Rosewater Post. So you're some kind of reporter? No, I'm a... Well, I write. Well, best of luck with that. The editor at that place ain't somebody you want to cross. Then we ought to get along fine. Ooh, dear, she's a hard-talking lady. I'm sure you will. But as official town greeter, allow me to offer a small caution. Rosewater ain't always such a sleepy little town. Who's this tiny person? Oi! He's going to take my wallet! Hey! Say, I've just remembered another engagement. You're not going to address this thing? This is how you welcome you. I have a mind to give you a thrashing. <laughs> Somebody's crying. Alright, alright, enough of that. Oh, is this dude that's crying? Look, I was no choir girl. But I never got caught. But I never cried as much as you. But I was never quite as dumb. <laughs> but I was never quite as dumb. But at least I had some brains. Word of advice, kid. I was a child. Don't pick your mark in broad daylight. Especially not at a lawman's doorstep. Go up, beat it. Of course, we're just outside the sheriff's office. Don't let me catch you trying anything again. Or I really will give you something to cry about. This is a child. That's why they're shorter than us. Possibly, maybe. Now, where is the aether? Let's go left. Blacksmith. Physician. Ooh, I love it. Ah, this is where we're going. See this dude at the publishing place. Mm. Groan. You almost landed on me. Hey, what gives? Two feet over and I'd be flatter than a piss on a plate. Groan. I've got to go. We're not going to help you. Rough break, fella. I've got important business inside, so if you excuse me, we're going down the hardcore don't mess with us route. In real life, I'd have fetched the doctor. Hello, can I help you with something? I'm here to see Miss Gallagher about the writing commission. Ah, yes, you must be Miss Leisure. I believe you and Joan exchanged some correspondence on the matter already, yes? Yep, got the letter right here. May I see it, please? There we go. Very good. Oh, and you can just call Joan by their first name. No formalities necessary. Noted. Go up those stairs and knock. Thanks. What's your name? Henry Dixon, ma'am. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Likewise. Up the stairs we go, then. Come in. Hello, Joan. I'm Harley Leisure. Ah, yes. Nice to finally put a face to the name. Please, take a load off. Whiskey? A bit early for me, but thanks all the same. Sensible. I like that. I, however, have had a morning, so if you don't mind. I can tell. A bit drafty behind you there. Say, have we met before? Something about you seems familiar. I don't believe so, no. Hmm, well, let's get down to the meat and potatoes, shall we? If you're going to join our little family here, I'd like to know some more about you. We'll provide a succinct biography. Me? Well, I was born and raised in New Britannia, got out, made my way west and started writing. 
I saw your ad while I was up in Pierre and thought a change of scenery would do me some good. Well, admittedly, Rosewater isn't as cosmopolitan as it used to be, but hopefully you'll find it to your liking. There hasn't been a dull moment since I stepped off the train. <laughs> kind of true. Speaking of which, your writing sample had me in stitches. I haven't spent much time in Lamplight City myself, but your descriptions of the toffs in Leon, hilarious. That piece was inspired by a recent visit, actually. Oh, what brought that about? I wanted to see if the transcontinental airship was actually worth it. Take care of some family affairs. We'll go with the truth this time. I had to go back and settle some family affairs. I see. I hope it wasn't in connection with that awful business at the Etheric Expo. Oh, no. My brother died a few weeks ago. I just hadn't had the chance to make it back sooner. But thankfully, I wasn't in town during the expo. It was a national tragedy, of course. But you know, I can't help remembering it as the week our paper sold more copies than it has before or since. Isn't that terrible? But enough about that. Let's get back to why we're here. I loved your sample and I like you as well, Miss Leija. So I'm going to go ahead and offer you a commission. After that, we can talk about more regular writing opportunities. Fantastic. So what's my assignment? A scathing commentary on Rosewater's decline? Or maybe a hard hitting expose on the exploitation of the railway workers? Oh, no, no, nothing like that. I want you to interview gentleman Jake Ackerman. Who? Call the other one. Have you been living under a rock? It's a true Western legend, the Achilles of our times. We have a real opportunity here, a star like that landing in our little town. I'd like it in the vein of your sample, acerbic and mordant, but maybe not quite so acerbic. Hmm? So, a puff piece. Good, you're paying attention. I want you to make Rosewater look good. Show me a real frontier hero in a real frontier town. Where can I find this Jake fellow? He's taken rooms at the Jack of Diamonds just down the road. And just so you know, you might be at it a while. The man could talk the teeth off a saw. Chatty chap, then. I don't know how you're situated here, but you're welcome to use the typewriter in the office. Only write longhand, but I'd certainly be grateful for a quiet place to work. Longhand? How charming. Now, if you have any questions before you go, by all means, ask. Who was the man at the window? Don't really care. What can you tell me about Rosewater? Can I write about something else? Tell me about Rosewater. Any insight you can give me about the town? It's a far cry from what it used to be. In a way, it's nice not having to listen to the saloon ructions at all hours. But, oh, I don't know. The folks who've moved on took some of the charm with them. Let's go then. I'd best be on my way. Right you are. Wait a minute. What? Well, it's just come to me. I know why you look familiar. You're Spitfire Harley. I? Goodness, it's been a long time since anyone called me that. I saw you having a go back in 32 at Wesley Hall in the Chum. You took out a brute twice your size with a right hook. Ow! It was like watching David bring down Goliath. I appreciate the kind words, but that was another life. Maybe so. For a 14-year-old kid, fresh off the boat, it was pretty damn inspirational. Thanks, Joan. I'll see you later. Right you are. And please, call me Joni. Try then, Joni. Let's go meet some people and find this Jake. Spitfire Harley writing for my paper. Have another swig of whiskey, buddy. Now, don't that just beat it all? I'm guessing Jake might be in the saloon then. Should we go find him? I bet that piano hasn't been tuned since the De Leon administration. It's making the best of it, though. Excuse me, kid, I need to get upstairs. I'm really sorry, miss, but upstairs is off limits to the public right now. Oh, he's upstairs, is he, Gentleman Jack? But I need to speak with Gentleman Jack. I'm on official business from the Rosewater Post. Get out of my way. Look, pipsqueak, I'm in no mood for games. Get out of my way. Whoa, hey, no need to take that tone. I don't want any trouble. Jake's upstairs getting ready for his show. It starts in less than an hour. Why don't you come by and watch? You can meet him afterwards. I just need to interview him for a newspaper article. Well, now that's perfect. If you're going to write about him, you should definitely see the show. Trust me, it's a real dazzler. I suppose it beats waiting around here. Rosewater Opera House? You again. Oh, hey, Harmony, wasn't it? Harley, what in the ether are you doing here? 
Oh, you're not still sore about earlier. No, I think I taught your friend a lesson. Look, it wasn't personal. He was in on it. My brother and I are just doing our best to get by. <gasps> Ooh. You just walked away when your brother got caught. Here's your brother. I ought to knock you into a cocked hat. Hey, you got to look out for number one. You picked the wrong mark, but I can let that go. With a bit of work, you two could be halfway decent grifters. But if there's one thing turns my stomach, it's disloyalty. That's your flesh and blood. If you don't have your own brother's back, who else on this wretched earth is going to give a flip if you're alive or dead? Major point. And a good one too. Now can we please drop it? I'm trying to do an actual legitimate job here. What job? So you're not selling snake oil or stock tips or fire insurance? Nah, nothing like that. I'm selling tickets to Gentleman Jake's legendary Wild West show. Only 20 coppers. Let's buy a ticket to the show. I'll take one of those tickets. Uh, about that. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you there. I just sold the last one not 10 minutes before you walked up. Seriously? Seriously, this ain't exactly the Coliseum. It only fits so many. And folks around here are real excited to see Gentleman Jake in person. I just need to speak with Jake. I don't need to see some blowhard firing off his pea shooter. I just want to talk to this Jake fellow. And I'm sure Gentleman Jake would be happy to meet you if you had a ticket to get in. Of course, I might be able to sneak you in quiet like, but I'd be putting my job on the line. And I couldn't afford to lose it. After all, I have my little brother to look after. Just tell me what you want. Only a small favour. Spit it out. Nothing complicated, really. Just help me retrieve something, an item of great personal value. It's only my pa's pocket watch. Family heirloom, you see. What happened to it? It was stolen, is what? But that By that one-eyed scallywag, Lola Johnson. Rolly stashed it away in the old smithy. She's been squatting in there for weeks. I'm not doing you any favours. Let me in or else. You expect a favour after that crap you pulled? Hey, I thought we'd move past that. Think again. Let me in or you're going to be sorry. Oh, come on. It's really not a big deal. It'll take you two seconds. Then why don't you do it? You had your warning. I'm going in. Not interested. Love it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Are you ready for some thrills? Are you ready for some excitement? Are you ready for some fun? We'll applaud. Mingle with the crowd. Then without further ado, may I present the star of our show. The last man standing at the Bleachbone Gulch Showdown. The only man to defeat bastard Billy Bokes in a duel. The man who discovered a silver mine then gifted it to an orphanage. Gentlemen, Jake Ackerman. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. I'm getting in with it, people. Here is Gentleman Jake. Ooh, fancy pistol work. Ding. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gentleman Jake's Wild West. We've got a hell of a performance for you today, but before we get started, allow me to introduce my brave and loyal assistant, Danny Luo. Now, let's get the show on the road. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you rope a steer. <laughs> Keep going, Danny, or you'll see yourself one, one day. The sun beat down upon them as the duelists stared, stood and stared, but Billy Bokes had never battled someone so prepared. Jake drew his gun. And back! Bastard crushed down with a thud. The legendary foe lay dead, defeated in the mud. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. Thank you all so much. You've been truly magnanimous, magnificent and a majestic audience. Anyone who'd like an autograph or souvenir ferrotype can come to the Jack of Diamonds. We'll be there until last call. Come by and shake hands with Gentleman Jake. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Howdy, ma'am. Are you Harley Leger? Who's asking? I'm Sheriff Gamble. A moment of your time. 
What's the problem? This young man tells me you're responsible for the condition of his brother over there. Yeah, what of it? Listen, I know these two can be ornery, but I can't just stand by and let folks take the law into their own fists, as it were. Does this mean I'm under arrest? Right so. Come with me to the station if you'd be so kind. I need to go see gentleman Jake. Oh my god. Two assaults in one day? Is it a full moon or something? That kid deserved what he got. I'm going to say nothing. I could be under caution. For what it's worth, I'm glad someone who finally put Jem in his place. But that's all I say on the matter. Do keep your hands to yourself in there, ladies. Roughed up Jem, did you? Who did you rough up? Some little punk I caught trying to break into my place. Let me guess. Scrawny runt, face like a leaky pump handle. If your well water runs red, sometimes. My warning clearly didn't do a lick of good. Maybe you managed to teach him something. Oh, I barely touched the boy. Pity the sheriff here didn't see it that way. Seems that between the two of us, we've taken down the whole local ragamuffin syndicate. I'm Harley Leisure. Lola Johnson. Pleasure. Been in town long? Long enough. I'm making tracks as soon as I do my time. Wasn't she the one with the thing that that dude we punched wanted? Afternoon, Sheriff Gamble. Mr. Ackerman. To what do I owe the pleasure? I heard you got the lady who was causing trouble at my show. Wait, what? What trouble? We were very good. That's right, in the cell there. The one with both her eyes. Might I have a word with the prisoner? Go on then. Miss Leger, I presume. Uh huh. Going by that kid's telling, I was expecting you to be at least a foot taller. Oh good, I'm supposed to interview you. Well, isn't this a stoke of luck? I meant to interview you for the Rosewater Post. Is that right? Well, there'll be plenty of time for that later. Right now, I'm attending to a more urgent matter. And what might that be? Getting you out of here. Should you be telling me this with the sheriff right there? I said get you out, not bust you out. Gamble, how much for this fine lady's bail? Uh, let's say ten crowns. Danny, pay the man. Here you are, sir. Appreciate it, Sam. Now then, won't you join me in my room? Aye, aye, at the Jack of Diamonds. I've got a business proposition. Now then, Miss Leger, I won't beat about the bush. Danny and I are looking to get some folks together for a job, and we'd like you to be one of them. What sort of job? Ever hear of Dr. Bennett Clark? I'd say I have. He was the lead scientist researching the Athericity stuff. Before the ban, that is. Dr. Clark went missing not long after the big disaster back in Lamplight City. No one's heard a peep from him in nearly a year. You said you weren't going to beat around the bush. Yeah, get to the point. We're going in search of Dr. Clark's fortune. The fellow was loaded. We find his stash. We'll all be rolling in it for years to come. Stash? What stash? Surely it's all just numbers on a ledger somewhere. No, no, I'm telling you, he kept his assets in cold, hard cash. And who could blame him? There's a bank here in town, nominally, but you could just about knock it over with a stiff breeze. Clark's fortune is out there somewhere. We just have to go after it. How many folks are you planning on bringing into this? I'm not entirely sure yet. Depends on what we find. But I promise you, we'll all get a fair split of the money, enough to make it all worthwhile. So what's your plan? Clark had a lab nearby, a couple of miles outside of town. Last place anyone saw him. I figure it's the best place to pick up his trail. Now, call me crazy, but I get the impression you're not entirely convinced. I'm not. What if this is all a wild goose chase that gets us killed? How can you be sure Clark isn't just holed up in some cave with his cash? Or for that matter, that we'll make it back here alive? I admit, we're asking you to put a lot of faith in us, and technically you are complete strangers. I'd probably be just as incredulous were I in your position. Mr Ackerman's a good man, Miss Ledger. Because I'm going to take your word for it, bro. You work for him. He's never led me astray. Appreciate it, Danny. But I think Miss Ledger's going to need a little more than just your word. Good men don't go steal other people's money. Look, I've known quite a few moneyed folk in my time. They've all got one thing in common. You know what that is? They love to spend their riches. They don't give a crap about people like us. Nope, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. They are good at keeping their money safe. Clark's cash is out there. I just know it. As far as your safety, you dealt with that little troublemaker outside the theatre. It's plain to see you can take care of yourself. I'm pretty good with my pistols and Mr Ackerman can talk his way out of anything. But we need someone who's good in a fight. 
And while I'm sure the Post's readership will be tickled to read another biography of yours truly, I'm I'm offering you a front row seat to a much better show. So, what do you say? OK, I'll go with you. I'm pleased to hear you say that. You won't regret this, Miss Leija. We'll set out for the lab at daybreak. Is this the lab with this massive antenna? <laughs> so there you have it. We're heading off on the cash trail. Follow the money. Do let me know in the comments what you think to the game. Let me know if you're going to add it to your wish list. At the moment, the game's not out, but I do believe it's coming soon. And while you're in that area, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button and sub to the channel. If you've yet to do so, it's free and then you'll know when I next upload a video. I've popped a link into the description to all my socials. It would be great if you'd hop on over and hit that follow for me. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.